Hey, and welcome to the Board Game Entrepreneur Podcast. I'm Nick Angiers. This is episode number five, and I'm continuing my uh, kind of a history of my own board game related business, Meeple Leaf, where I do mostly board game events. But one thing I've also taken a foray into is designing t shirts for people who like games because I've noticed that there are lots of these shirts. But uh, a lot of times you see them repeated, so it doesn't seem like there's enough to meet the demand. There are always new games coming out, but it seems like there's only a handful of funny board game related t-shirts. So I set up to start uh, designing some, and then uh, I would sell those at my events, and then eventually have a web store, sell those online, and so on. So the very first design I did was for my first Maple Leaf Con Abbotsford way back in... March 2019, when I just started, and uh, I had a, a friend do the design, so I paid him for that, and it was just a simple slogan. It said, why can't we all just play board games, and uh, he had the idea of making a, a tumbling tower, not to be confused with uh, a game uh, with an actual name that uh, didn't endorse anything. Uh, so he put like one word on each block and then had a hand pulling one of the blocks out So that was kind of cool, and he did it in a very short period of time I uh, had to get them designed and printed and everything Within like a week or two before the event But everything worked out all right uh, I got this is my first time doing t-shirts, so I didn't really know what I was doing I had the design and then to get the the prints, I went to a print shop, which was kind of out of town, so uh, it was pretty hard to go pick them up. I had to drive out there, and I got uh, 20 or 30 of the, the prints, and then uh, I picked up the shirts myself, because it was more cost effective to do it that way. Michael's, which is a craft store, has lots and lots of cotton t-shirts for $5 each. So I bought a whole bunch from there, and then I brought the shirts to the, the print shop, and I printed them right on. So each shirt cost me about $12, including the, the printing service fee, and then I was selling them for 20 So a pretty thin margin, but that's because I was doing such a small quantity, right? If I'm doing hundreds of shirts, you know, it's going to be like uh, $5 to uh, actually produce them. To manufacture them and I was getting it all done locally I could totally do it overseas if, if I were doing larger batches but I got the shirts in time and sold a couple gave a couple out as prizes uh, and then later on at future events I sold a couple more I still have a bunch uh, I used them mostly to give to volunteers and later on I made another style so this one is I got the, the same friend to do the design so this one says uh, it's, it's a hand putting a meeple down and the slogan is, oh, you did not go there, which I thought was kind of funny. And then on the back it says Meeple Leaf. So this is kind of the one that I use for, to wear in my videos and to give to, to volunteers for videos. I'm uh, sorry, for events when they help me out. Uh, and I'll usually get a couple different colors for each one. This one was a little bit more organized. Uh, I went with a, a local guy who I met at a, a local convention, actually, who has his own printing business, so he can do all the, the work for me. The cost was about the same, but it was more streamlined this way. I didn't have to go anywhere uh, other than to pick them up from him. I just gave him the designs, a little bit of back and forth, told him uh, what color, what sizes, and then uh, he brought a bag of the shirts to me uh, at Shucks, which is a, a local game convention. And so yeah, that was really great. His name is Professor Huvianart. And according to him, he's not a real professor, but he professes to know nothing. Uh, so that worked a lot better. In more recent times, what I've been doing with t-shirt designs is uh, online commerce. So uh, I approached a website that I found called Geeky Goodies. It's a Canadian-based website. And the um, person who runs it, his name is Chris. And he's a really good guy to work with. I've sent him some designs. Uh, I, I just sent him a couple designs to put up on the, the website just to see if they would sell, basically. 
So I had one of my, oh, you did not go there. Haven't sold any of that yet. And then I had another friend who's a really good illustrator uh, do an illustration for me. So the idea with this one is about solo gaming, because with the pandemic, a lot of people are solo gaming. So uh, it says, I'm not a solo gamer, except sometimes. And then it has uh, an illustration of a little bird standing on a table playing a, a game that looks a lot like uh, another game that features birds in it. But um, it's not that game, so don't think that. And uh, we did one other, so the same design, but the um, simplified slogan was just Solo Gamer. And about two weeks ago, we got our first sale for that. It was with uh, a mug, so a mug that said Solo Gamer and then a little bird playing a board game. So someone, someone bought that, and uh, I told my illustrator and she was excited. It, it's only like a, a few dollars that we're going to get from it, but that really gave me hope that this could actually be a new income stream, right? Because once I make the design and put it up there, there's very little that I have to do to actually uh, get sales and uh, manage the sales. So, you know, posting once in a while on social media, especially when I have a new design. But I thought this would be a really fun uh, creative outlet that really ties into Meeple Leaf. So instead of just doing events, we can also do products. And I love writing slogans for, for t-shirts and just making stuff, you know? So over the past two weeks, I've made about another eight or so designs, including some for face masks, because that's a new thing. And I sent them to Chris and we've been uh, going back and forth a little bit, but we're really on the same page. Uh, he has much more knowledge of, you know, what people actually buy. <laughs> and he's also better at graphic design, so I'll do the best I can with my graphic design skills. And I have been learning. Uh, Skillshare is a great resource for learning stuff like that. Uh, I've learned all the ins and outs of Illustrator. I took a six hour course uh, on double speed. So three hours to learn all the basics of Adobe Illustrator, which is great. And uh, the final designs after his tweaking have been really actually quite good. So a few of those just went up online today. Uh, the face masks include one that says, uh, this mask grants resistance to bad card draws. So anybody uh, who plays games might find that kind of funny. Oh, if I wear this mask, then uh, I'll draw better cards. Um, it's not actually proven if it does have that property. And then there's another one that's similar, but more for uh, role players. Uh, RPGers it says this card grants plus one resistance to bad dice rolls uh, and then we have a few other ones for the the face masks not finalized yet and then other t-shirt designs uh, we have one that says drink the coffee play the games and that one looks really nice it's like something that I'd see somewhere else it's hard to believe that I had a hand in it and then there's one that goes uh, Dear Board Games, thanks for being awesome. We're still working on that. And a few others, but it's been a lot of fun, and it doesn't really feel like a lot of work. It's more learning and just being creative. So moving forward, I hope to do more of these designs and hope to actually sell more. Um, but just having that first sale makes it really feel like it's a real thing because I can do anything and put it out there and not have anyone buy it. But once one person buys it, then it's like, hmm, okay, now if I can just multiply this and do more of it and get better at it, then it can become a, a viable endeavor. So uh, you can expect to hear about more designs from me and you can see uh, the designs that I'm releasing you know, through my, my Facebook. Um, page for Meeple Leaf, and I'd also like to put everything on my own website as well so people can buy directly from me and also embed them into my videos so if I'm wearing like a funny shirt that I designed I can have a link in my videos once once people start actually watching my videos well more than five people and and then you know everything will cross-promote and it will all come together 
So that's about it for my t-shirt designs. Uh, I'm working more on being able to do them myself and not having to rely on other people's skills as much. For illustrations, I'm still going to need someone probably forever. So I have my one friend illustrator who's working on a Cthulhu design because we all know that Cthulhu is public domain and he's great for that because we can just make Cthulhu stuff. And that one's going to be fun. Uh, it says, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. And then has a picture of like a cartoony, grumpy Cthulhu. And then the spelling is all like weird Cthulhu style. So there's like H's everywhere and everything. Yeah, it's going to be good. All right, so next episode, I would like to tell you about my experience working for Asmodee. That's a large board game company uh, at Shucks 2019. So I did some demoing for them. And I was also a judge for the World Pandemic Finals. So that was very exciting, and you can hear all about that in the next episode of the Board Game Entrepreneur Podcast. Thanks so much for listening, and happy gaming.